hello users. welcome back again this is my fourth video so the videos in the previous were on if condition and now i'm making the same thing in ifs condition so it will have more than one criteria so this is how it goes in power query and this is how it goes in vba code so i already done the, this one for the vba codes please do check the previous videos and uh, what was the condition is as i told you if the unit price is equal to less than 100 then c multiplied by d so uh, quantity multiplied unit price and if it is greater than 150 you will get a 10 percent discount and between the 101 to 149 unit price there will be no value so this is how we write the codes in if, uh, if condition in power query in vba and now i'm going to show you again uh, just a recap so it should be like if it's now it's not if so the unit price is less than or equal to 100 bucks and this multiplied by this again now logical test 2 will be again if this is greater than or equal to 150 then this value minus Again, this value multiplied by 0 0.1. Now I'm going to close the parenthesis. So this is going to be done. So you'll get an error. So you can just add a if error. If error. And you can just leave this error as it is. And for the VBA also, if you do the same thing, you can loop this and you can get the answer for do while loop. And in do while loop, if you add some more data in the database, now you can, the same can be done for the do while loop, but not for this one. So anyhow, I'll be copying this sheet and I want to make this into a table. So this can be added later also. So we just remove this. So I'll be removing this section. So now I'm going to do the same thing in tables. So before doing the table, I will make this into a table. So I will be selecting this area and control T. The table has headers. Now it has gone to a table. But if you want to keep the same style, you can select this. So it will be in the same style. So go to design and select the same thing. Or you can have many options and you can check all those things. But I want to keep in the same style. So now we have done for this. Now let's do for the table. So if it will be like if and open the parenthesis. So if the unit price is less than or equal to 100, then quantity multiplied by unit price. So logical test two to be the same thing. If the unit price is greater than or equal to 150, then the value of true will be this a minus again this amount into 0 0.1. So that will be purely 10%. So here also you get an error. Now if you want, you can also again make an if error and do the same. Comma, comma, double quotes. So you can see the, the error has gone now. So you can see the answers are almost the same. Now do the same thing in power query. Then I have to go and take to the power query so i'll be adding a new table and i'll rename this as power query so i'll rename this as power query and i'm going to get the if statement if 
point dot value is less than equal to 100 sorry then unit price multiplied by total value again then i have to put an else if unit price is greater than or equal to 150 then total amount minus total amount into 0 0.1 so i'm putting double quotes and then else null is null so it's showing an error once uh, if the unit price is less than or equal to 100 then unit price unit total amount is if now it should be else if else but it, it's not together like if i put a it's going to give an error so this is a vba code and this is a difference in the power query so i have to put a space now greater than 150 then the total amount total amount is by zero Yes, now no, it seems going to working fine. So there is a mistake. Hmm. Then we need to the total amount. Else, if unit price, so it's not a total total amount. It should be unit price into quantity into unit price so it will be changing this into quantity into quantity and then total amount minus total one else so it should be unit price into quantity quantity into unit price is one and the same now it's going to show the error so there is a bracket in this it's going to be okay so now you can see the answers are same so i'm going to Take this into this only as a connection. So I don't want to add this into a data model. Now, if you want, I can add this into a data load and add this to into a data model, but I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to directly go take this table to pivot power pivot. So now you can see here we don't have so you have to connect the if condition but you don't have a ifs condition you can see it's if but you don't have a ifs condition if you make a ifs condition you can see an error so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make this into a if condition and the condition will be unit price is less than equal to 100 then quantity multiplied by unit price now again i don't have if condition so i'll be writing another if condition so again it will be an if condition unit price is greater than or equal to 150 then it will be like this amount minus now if you, if you, you don't want not double so you can type it total amount so it will be same and you can just multiply yeah so you can see our uh, table minus but you should make it into 10 percent 0.1 yeah so you can get the answer now so i think you can find this video useful and uh, please uh, check this and this you can just close this and you can finalize this. So I hope to see you in the next video soon. Thanks for watching.